Well, let me show you this really nice trellis I made for my blackberries. Most of you, if you follow me for any time, know that I'm kind of a blackberry guy. I've uh, raised blackberries for many years, had a you pick uh, blackberry operation for a while, small one, but uh, still had come up, people coming over to pick blackberries. Uh, lost that through uh, just aging out of the blackberries as well as gopher uh, devastation. So I have decided to put my blackberries in containers and they are doing, as you can see, this is the first year and they are doing amazing. So let me show you what I've done here as far as trellising these blackberries. This is a very simple trellis. The first trellis I did was consisted of one T-post, uh, a T-post, and then about 30 feet later, another T-post and had a, a wire just wrapping around the T-post and uh, going down the length uh, two wires wrapping around one on this side one on this side of a t-post and then going down and trying to keep the blackberries in between this uh, I think is much better solution just as simple and uh, so let's take a look at it these are just two t-posts I've got them at about uh, 53 inches above the ground I mean, it's about 53 inches tall it's a six foot t-post and I've got it sitting at about 53 inches uh, you wouldn't have to be nearly that high if you're doing blackberries in the ground. And this trellis will work for blackberries in the ground or in containers. Super, super way to do blackberries. So 53 inches tall, about 18 inches above the containers, I put my first wire. So if you're doing them in the ground, you'd want to put that first wire about 18 inches off the ground. That's to allow for some blackberries that aren't... Um, aren't quite as erect as uh, as some of the other ones. Some some blackberries are what they call sprawling, some are erect, some are very erect. So it depends on what kind of blackberries you have. Uh, if you've got a sprawling blackberry, you're gonna need to, to keep your wire, you know, fairly close to the ground, 12 to 18 inches for, to allow these, to allow sprawling blackberries to be able to hit the wire. All I did was just wrap the wire around just wrap it around here. My start is on the other end. I'll show you the start in just a minute where I tied them together. And I just came this way, wrapped it around, pulled it tight, wrapped it around, wrapped it around the next one over there and pulling it tight, you know, fairly tight all the way. These posts are about 20 inches apart. These two T posts, about 20 inches apart. And my second wire is about 16 inches above the first wire. So uh, 18 inches above ground or above your container whichever is applicable to you and then another 16 inches and that should allow for anything that's going to get up to um, uh, four feet tall four or five feet tall and that's where you want to prune your blackberries anyway at about four maybe five feet so let's uh let's take a look at it uh, a little bit closer let me show you how i constructed it so when I built this, the uh, I built it where the T-posts were leaning back just a little bit, maybe two or three inches uh, away from uh, perpendicular, from straight up and down. And that would give me, I knew that would, I knew as I pulled the wire tight, I was going to pull the T-post in because it's, it's a T-post and it's not, it's not a pull post that's in the ground three or four feet deep. So I knew, and T-post will bend some. I knew I was gonna be uh, pulling the T-post forward, so I, I drove my T-post just a little bit, about three inches, I don't know how many degrees that is, or whatever, about a half a bubble or something, uh, to the outside of level. So having done that, then as I pulled it tight, they straightened up, they are level now. And let me show you what I did in the middle. So I set the post at about halfway down my row, each side of the row, measured it out and did a post about halfway. Did the same thing, about 53 inches tall, wrapped as I'm pulling, I'm, again, I started on this end, as I'm pulling down through, I pulled it tight, wrapped it, which may have pulled the post back a little bit, but as I pulled it this way, it pulled the post back up to perpendicular, exactly. So everything is straight, everything is pretty, you can see the the two posts one on either side of the the tubs there my containers and let me show you how i did the back 
So here's where I started. This is the back of the row. And so I just, I left myself enough of a tail here on this side uh, as I started pulling it. Uh, I just kind of wrapped around that pole, come around this one, and then went that way to where we started the video at and came back. And as I came back, wrapped around here, pulled it tight, wrapped around here, came back over here and then tied them together with just a simple knot. Did that on both wires, upper and lower wires, being careful to maintain my distance. Again, I'm 53 inches here. So I knew I knew where I needed to be off the uh, at, at that that the top wire needed to be at the top of the post and that wire needed to be uh, 16 inches lower. So kept my my distance on the wires. Let me show you the blackberries and how uh, how this is working so far in the trellis. So here's the tallest blackberries I have. Uh, that one is well out of the top wire. Uh, I'm gonna let it get. Uh, actually, I've got one over there a little bit taller. I'm gonna let it get about another foot tall. Then I'm gonna pinch the top, prune the top, and uh, encourage those laterals that form on the canes here at these spurs, at, right in there in the crotch of that, the notch or the crotch or whatever of that uh, cane and that uh, leaf. Uh, it will put out laterals and the laterals are where you make most of your blackberries. So that's what you want. You, when you get up to a certain height, determine what height you want. Pinch that top off. I've got a lot of pruning videos uh, on blackberries that show what I'm talking about here. Pruning and uh, encouraging those laterals to form and to grow, uh, which is encouraging blackberry production. But for right now, that is what the rows look like. They are being held. I've got one that's kind of leaning out because it's not quite tall enough to touch the wire. After another couple of days, day or two, it's going to be tall enough and I can, I can bend that inside the wire. And this one there, when it becomes about an inch or two taller, then I can put it inside the wire and encourage it to grow straight up. And then when it gets a little bit taller, I will prune the top of it, pinch the top of that. But just wanted to show you what I've got going on here in the blackberries. I really like what I'm seeing. Uh, I've got a lot of nice berries forming. Uh, most of them are green. I've got one I think that's about trying to turn red. But these containers, uh, these blackberries are doing amazing in these containers. I'm very, very pleased with it. So don't, if you could live in a small space or small backyard, um, don't let uh, don't let that deter you from growing blackberries. Follow my uh, blackberry uh, videos on this channel. I'm gonna be doing. I've got a huge blackberry playlist with with multiple multiple videos on it uh, about growing in the ground, and those are uh, an amazing resource on blackberries. But if you want to know how to grow them in containers, I am starting a new. Uh, obviously starting a new series here and it will deal with everything I'm gonna know and learn about growing blackberries in containers so stay up with me be sure and subscribe ring that bell below and that bell if you ring it uh, you will get sent a notification when I upload a new video don't do just blackberries do a lot of little bit of everything that one there is the tallest one and it is uh, shoot it's almost out it's almost where I'm going to pinch it off. I'm going to, uh, I was going to pinch them at four feet tall. I think I'm getting greedy and I think I'm going to wait till they're five feet tall simply because I have this good trellis and I can, I can let them get taller without worry of uh, the wind blowing them over and stuff. So man, I like the way these blackberries look. They are looking absolutely fantastic. Again, this is the first year I planted them. They were one gallon pots about three months ago, four months ago, I got these from uh, Bob Wells Nursery, bobwellsnursery.com. And uh, they have got some amazing trees, blackberries, all sorts of fruit and nut trees and such, and some ornamentals also. One of the reasons these blackberries look so good was because they were one gallon pots. They were just an amazing, uh, they looked amazing when I got them. 
but all this new growth all this tall growth you see that has come up this year that was non-existent when i put them in these containers those are this year's cane which is called a floor cane and because these are a prima cane variety they will bear fruit this year it'll be a small my experience with prima cane varieties is that it will be a small or crop and not really a fall crop but more of an ever bearing crop starting in uh, july or august and going through to frost these are self wicking containers if you don't know what a self wicking container is look at my uh look at my series on self wicking containers and i'll show you how to build them and i'll show you also what i call my hybrid container which is easier to build and i think is uh, going to be even better i just like it better myself so here it is trellis simple simple six t posts and the wire i didn't mention this is this is a 17 gauge electric fence wire so it's really not a heavy high tensile wire anything like that you just don't need it so just a uh uh, 17 gauge galvanized so it's not going to rust galvanized um, electric fence wire is all you need very easy to work with limber pliable uh, so it's simple it's inexpensive 60 posts in my case this is a 30 about a 40 foot row 60 posts and probably uh, two dollars worth of wire or less and uh, so anyway that's it uh, I think it's going to be a great way to trellis blackberries and raspberries. So, and I think if you would like to grow some in containers, my short experience that I'm looking at right now tells me that that is going to be an amazing thing. Those are doing absolutely wonderful in containers. They are loving their new home. All right, that's it. We're gone.